I just wanted to take a few heated minutes and look at the DreamWorks Dragons Defenders of Burke Fireworm Dragon. The Fireworm Dragon may be the most requested toy I have ever reviewed since the Battlestar Galactica Aliens. Hold on a second, hold on a second, we were never reviewed. Does the Fireworm Dragon Queen live up to her fiery hype? Let's find out. Going back in time, here is the Fireworm Dragon in its Dragon's Defenders of Burke package on store shelves. This is always a good time to make sure your dragon is working well. It's kind of funny, her wing really kind of shoots out the side of the package here. Make sure that's okay. We've got a button for an action feature with batteries, so make sure those are charged. And uh, maybe check her tongue and any other weird defects you might see. On the back of the package here we have the Fireworm Queen with the Light Up Dragon and the Whip Tongue action effects and some of the other dragons available like the hard to get Thunder Drum. Out of the package the Fireworm Dragon burns and you can see right away a possible flaw. It's kind of tippable. Unfortunately these back legs and maybe this tail are just in the wrong position and the dragon likes to fall forward. If you bend it a little bit and work with it, she's going to start to stand, but it's not always a sure thing. The dragon itself is pretty cool though, a nice glowy translucent orange dragon. Wings here that fan out wide or even a 45 degree angle if you get them in the right position. They lock pretty well. Looking good there. She's got one, two, three, four, five sets of legs and some nice spotting going all the way down the dragon's body. The head is a really fun looking head too. Uh, we've got nice horns sticking up, really soft, you can kind of pet them almost, and up here too on the nose. The head close up. I really like how the eyes are almost in the spot of where you would think the nostrils would be, or perhaps those are the nostrils. When I watched the episode though, I'm pretty sure those were eyes. Uh, interesting though, because sometimes worms are kind of blind, so kind of a fun way to put them there. Again, this really soft tongue up front, and that'll tie in with the action feature here. On the back here, you've got a lever, and then you're just going to press forward, and the tongue is going to stick out with a little light up effect very Fireworm Dragon-esque. Works pretty well and is very character specific again. Kind of lights up the nose here and a couple lights up here down under the jaw and down on the belly. Uh, works pretty well for a translucent dragon and probably one of the better effects out of all these dragons around. It's kind of a bummer, and most likely because of the tongue and light up effects action feature, that we didn't get any articulation up in the neck. It would have been fun to be able to have down on all ten legs and be able to walk a little more normal instead of always kissing the ground. But I guess that light up effect is still pretty cool. Scaling up the Fireworm Dragon to some of the other Dragon's Defenders of Burke toys, most notably Hookfang as they have an interconnected story with some of their fire abilities. Uh, you can tell that the Fireworm Dragon is a little bit uh, larger than Hookfang, even though Hookfang has a way better wingspan and maybe even tail reach. Uh, but in the show, the Fireworm Queen is much larger, but as toys go, it's a good size to work with. Bringing on in Toothless, you can tell that they're all about the same size and fill up the screen pretty well here. And in an even more rare scaling appearance, here is the Fireworm Dragon drinking tea with Thunder Drum and Scaldron. These are three of the most hardest to find dragons of late. Uh, Scaldron sometimes findable, but both Thunder Drum and Fireworm, I had to go to great lengths. And boy does Scaldron like his tea. It's really hot. And that is the Fireworm Dragon. A pretty rare dragon to find indeed. I had to go to eBay for this guy, and that's why I have the most smoke-filled, perfume-smelling dragon I've ever seen. So if you find one on shelves, please pick it up before it gets destroyed by a scalper. That's what I have to say about that. Perhaps if you spray some Fabrice on her, she will burn the house down? Hello, my name is Tongue Lasher. I really like what you do with your tongue. Check out what I can do with my tongue.
Pretty cool, huh? Let's go.